This YCN segment is brought to you by Harris Family Furniture in Plymouth, Laconia, and Chichester. Well, these guys all year have just not given up. We've been behind a lot of games, and you know we're putting the ball in play. Uh, we've got some young guys that have learned a lot. Um, I thought Ethan battled, you know, throughout the first few innings, and then Josh came in. That's the second time he's come in for us and given us the innings that we needed. Particularly, you know, Derek had pitched the other day. Drew had thrown both Friday and Monday, um, and is going on Friday. So I really, my only option relief-wise was to go to Josh, and he came through again. Throw strikes, and uh, we got some big plays in the outfield. I mean, freshman Owen Taylor. You know, that throw from right field to third was huge. Uh, takes out of that inning on the double play. And, you know, I've been waiting for Derek to get a guy, you know, uh, to play because he has a cannon. And uh, when I saw him tag up, been waiting for that one hop throw from him too. But, you know, I got to you know, these seniors, James Aiken, Aiden Cahill, Drew Grenier, and Brendan Bean, you know, four of the, the best kids I've, I've ever been around. And, and they, uh, they help these young guys. You know, Aiden's getting his chance this year as a starter, and he's done a great job. Drew has been fantastic on the mound. Brendan at first is, you know, great. And James, whatever I need James to do, he does. You know, he got a start today in right, and he's had some good at-bats, had a, you know, a two-run single for his first fire. So he hit a Franklin, and, uh, you know, I'm really happy for them that uh, we could come back and win this game on, you know, on senior night. A lot of that comes from, you know, the camaraderie on the team and how they handle themselves at practice. We were stuck inside, you know, a lot early on with, with the weather, and, uh, you know, you can get complacent at times inside, but these guys, you know, Coach Stever and I, um, we decided that we were going to concentrate on, you know, tee work and soft toss and, and, and head down and seeing the ball, and these guys have really worked at it. I mean, it, it's, it's hard to hit a round ball with a round bat coming in at 80 miles an hour. You know, it's the only sport I know where you can get three hits and 10 at-bats fail 70% of the time and you're one of the better players. That's how hard the game is. You have to work at it. These guys work at it, but they also have some fun at practice. And, and that starts with the senior leadership. You know, in, we got a lot of young guys. We have two freshmen, we have sophomores. We have, um, I think we had four guys make their varsity debut on the, on the mound this year. So without that senior leadership and making them feel a part of the team, you know, you're not gonna be able to come back in these kind of games. And I think that's been a big key for us all year. We've been, you know, I don't know how many come from behind wins that is, but the thing that I loved about today is is we were up by two and then we had first two guys out in the bottom of the sixth and end up getting four runs. Um, you know, that That's, you know, you, you go into the last inning up, you know, six as opposed to two, makes a big difference. As you can see, they got a couple of guys on. If that's a two run lead, you know, things can get, can go the other way quickly. But I just love, I just love this entire team. I mean, they, you know, 10 wins, um, you know, in this division is, is hard to do. And uh, I'm really, really happy for them. There's only so many times you can come from behind. Um, you know, we, we've just been playing from behind too much. I think we have to be a little more more aggressive early. You know, early in the game. When when we score first and put pressure on the other team, that's how you what you're going to have to do when you get in the playoffs. I mean, we we've, we've punched a ticket. It's just a matter of where we're going to end up. Um, you know, we still have a possibility of a home game, which would be nice. But you know, the goal at the beginning of the season is to make the playoffs. You know, if you make the playoffs, you have a chance. Um, that's goal number one. We've done that, and I think we have to be play from ahead. And, and once you get in the tournament, you're going to be facing better teams, uh, better pitching, and it's going to be harder and harder to come back. Um, so we can't keep digging ourselves the early deficit. And I think we're going to have to work on, you know, trying to get the lead and, and, and put the other team on the defensive.